Becky from Demartini RV and I'm here with a Thor Omni 4x4 Super C diesel motorhome. This has our exclusive Wilderness Edition solar package and I'm going to show you around but this isn't going to be your typical dealer video. This is going to be a video of how it really is using an RV like this. We're going to take it to Yosemite for four days of dry camping and see how the solar system works. So follow along and see how it goes. It's about a four hour drive from Grass Valley to Yosemite Valley. So we decided to leave after work and get a head start on the trip. We found a place to park and stay at a Vista Point near Don Pedro Lake. We were able to get an early start from there and head to Yosemite National Park. I didn't realize that we'd be going up priest grade. It's considered a dangerous California road. There are two options, the old and the new grade. RVs are prohibited on the old grade because it's very steep at 17%. The new grade is a 4% grade consisting of over 100 curves and hairpin turns. So this is still nothing to bat your eyes at, but this RV handled it great. That's one of the best things about this RV. I feel confident that it can handle anything it's allowed to drive on. So when we come up to something unexpected like this, I don't get nervous. Finally made it to the park entrance. We took the big oak flat entrance and from there it's still about 24 miles to Yosemite Valley. We still had some windy steep roads to drive before we made it down to where we would camp. One question I'm often asked is how loud is it in the cockpit? Can you have a conversation without yelling at each other? The answer is much quieter than you would expect. People tend to think of diesel engines as being really loud, but actually compared to the older Ford V10 gas engines that scream going up steep grades, you can hardly hear this diesel engine. Actually, the loudest the engine ever gets is when you turn on the built-in exhaust brake. It's a very cool feature. You just press a button on your dash and the engine automatically slows you down. It uses your engine instead of your brakes. You can hear it quietly working in the background here. Yeah, the engine brake's super nice. Don't even have to touch the brakes. Or mess with the transmission. Keep it nice and controlled, don't burn them up. We enjoyed the beauty of Yosemite Valley as we continued our drive past El Cap and toward Half Dome where we scored a coveted campsite in Upper Pines Campground. We're almost there! Wow, These sites sell out in literally one second when they're released six months in advance. So the site that you reserve is the site that you get and there's no moving around. Here's a shot of our campsite with half dome in the distance. There also are no hookups here, so that gave us a great opportunity to test out the wilderness package. We equipped this RV with 815 watts of advanced circuitry solar panels, added two high efficiency AGM lifeline batteries, and an upgraded solar controller. We spent a total of four days and four nights on this trip and never had any issues with low or dead batteries even with a shady campsite and limited generator hours at this campground. Our friends joined us on the trip and shared our campsite. Between our two families, we had a total of nine people. So between getting snacks for kids and making meals, the refrigerators were both being opened constantly while we were at camp. They both are powered by electricity, so they run off of the inverter when you aren't plugged into power. So this was a real test on the batteries. We ran lights, the TV, the exterior sound bar, and we only were able to use the generator during three specific time periods. They were breakfast, lunch, and dinner basically, and you only had two hour time periods. So if you missed it, then you were out of luck. We probably ran the generator about 30 to 45 minutes a day, most of the time we missed our generator hours because we were out exploring, hiking, looking at waterfalls, wading through creeks, riding our bikes through the park to see the sights and picnic under the towering mountains. 
I highly recommend bringing or renting bicycles if you visit Yosemite this year. Shuttles aren't running, so the car parking and traffic was pretty bad, especially on the weekend. We were able to bike past all of the stopped cars and park our bikes right at the trailheads. It's also a bonus that the valley is flat, so very kid-friendly on the bikes. After an amazing four days, it was time to pack up and head back home. My friend and I still joke with each other about having withdrawals from Yosemite. It truly is a magical place and I would recommend it to anyone. Okay guys, we've made it back from Yosemite and we've got this coach all cleaned up and ready for sale. I'll show you another quick tour of the floor plan and go over a few of my favorite features on the interior. And if you have any other questions, just type a comment below and I'll try to answer you. All right, thank you for watching. This is the RB34 floor plan. On the trip, our friends shared our campsite. They brought their tent and slept next to the RV the first two nights, but then got a hole in their air mattress, so we offered to let them sleep in the RV the last night. They agreed, and we were able to fit them, plus their two kids, and the five of us for a total of nine people sleeping comfortably. One of my favorite things about this floor plan is the amount of storage. It's amazing how much they packed into this coach. Here in the kitchen, you have a really big compartment for your trash can there on the right, and then you have this pull-out drawer. It is hard to show in video how big it is, but it's huge. We fit all of our pots and pans, a toaster, a French press, a whole bunch of stuff in there. And we also have this drawer underneath the refrigerator is giant. You could fit cookie sheets, pretty much any of your large kitchen items will fit there easily. I also really liked all of the USB chargers scattered throughout the coach. Thanks for joining me and watching my demo video on the Omni RB34 Wilderness Edition. Stay tuned for my next video where we test out the Omni RS36 floor plan built on the F600 chassis. Let me know if you have any questions. You can give me a call at 1-800-576-1921 or email me at vicky at Talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.